Hi, we are sorry, not sorry. And we're gonna do a montage for you tonight. And all we need to get us started is a word from our lovely in-house audience. Ram. One more time. Ram. 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 <laughs> Jeb. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm in love. What's that? Je Jeb, mom, I'm in love. You're in love. Yeah. Cal, yeah. This, you you tell us that you're in love every other week. Who's yeah, gone and I, stolen your heart this time? I mean it. I mean it this time. There's a uh, there's this young lady uh Met her at the gas station. She works there uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday afternoons. And, uh, well, we got to talking. She's a Ford girl, too. So, uh, you know, we got to talking more. And all, all, we have ever, all we've ever talked about is trucks and trucks accessories and, and, uh, and the things that you can do in trucks, like drive them on the road and off the road. And I'm, I'm, I'm smitten and I'm going to ask her to marry me. And I wanted you to know that before I pop the question. Well, so you just, you just met her, right? I mean, I meet her every now and then at the gas station, but yeah, we've, we've, you know, gone on a date once or twice. How many straight weeks now, and I will answer this for you, 47 straight weeks you've come home to us and said you're in love and you've met the woman of your dreams and for 47 straight weeks, 46 straight weeks, I guess technically to this point, it has turned out disastrous for you. <laughs> I think this time's different. I brought her hey, here with me. Oh, okay. So you just brought her to family dinner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is my family. Oh, nice. So nice to meet y'all. How you doing? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go get another place setting to for the table. Oh. oh, yeah. He told me when I was pumping my gas that I could, I could come to dinner. So here I am. Right, baby? He told me oh, I yeah. was pumping gas. And, it, you know, you said dinner. And I was like, sure. And you said my, my mom and pap's house. And I was like, okay. Baby, nobody him, pumps that gas like you. You just call him baby. Uh, you just met each other. You shouldn't be like pet names are like a third, fourth date thing. This seems. Uh, oh, come I on. get it. I, you're very old school. He told me that y'all were old school. Mm. Yeah. Tag out Brandon and Jess. Leave Justin. Okay. Thanks for coming into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Um, you've always been the one with the ideas. You've, you've helped get rid of the other 46 loves of his lives. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's time for me to step up. Um, I was thinking maybe poison in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. You okay. A whole different level. Like I, I've done things like cursed or like uh, yeah. dinner table, like I, I yeah. to drive them away. Like. And that one time you, you you said that Trump was like, you know, Trump and then God, you know, that one, that worked really well. Right. Okay. All right. All right. I get it. I, I'm just, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. I get it. I get it. I, I know. My, I, I know. It's it's just like, it's just he's self-destructive. He's bringing these women home and he thinks they love him and he loves them, but he just really doesn't. Maybe, maybe we just, uh, this, this one, you know, maybe we just... Um, Hmm. Start talking about high culture or something like that. She doesn't sound like she. She's a Ford. She's in the Ford trucks and nothing else. Maybe we just start talking about art or something. Maybe that'll drive. Her. Yeah, yeah. Or, or even just, how about if we just bring up that we prefer sedans? Ooh, imported sedans, right? You are definitely the genius of this family. I try. I try. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, just, we'll just say that you were helping me with, with dinner when they come back in. Okay. All right. You guys, uh, you guys spent a long time in the kitchen there. I was helping her with dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm well, anyway. I like that. A man that knows his way around the kitchen. Take <laughs> note. Well, you know, I learned from the best, baby. Okay. I, I can cook the best kind of 
uh, ribs in the back of a truck, burgers in the back of a truck, oh, hot man. dogs in the back of a truck. Add that to Great. the list of things that we said you can do in the back of a truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did a couple of other things in the back of a truck, but you know, oh. mom and dad, dinner. Sunday. we tailgated in the back of a truck. We, we put a tarp in the back of a truck and then we, we watched the stars in the back we, of a truck. I, I just, my, my, it really looks like your father has something to say. Can we, can we go in? Actually, I have something. Yeah. Sure. Dad. Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can we, we go back into the kitchen? I think we have to help you with the mashed potatoes. All right. All right. I'm not gonna lie, this girl is fantastic. All right. <laughs> what? She's really, really just fantastic. She's wonderful. She says she likes a man who can cook and does things in the back of a truck. I'm sorry, I was with y'all up until this point, but now I'm thinking she might be the one. Can you hand me the arsenic? I'm putting it in the potatoes. <laughs> oh come on! Now, I cannot, in good conscience, hand this to you. Okay. Fine. We do a lot of things as a family, but what's the one thing we don't do? We don't Murder. poison dinner guests. Poison our dinner guest, yeah. Grandma told us all that. Same. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. It's me, the Ramblin' Ram for Ram uh, Trucks. Hi. <laughs> Good to see How you. How you doing? Look, Good. I'm ramming. Ram. I'm the rambling ram from Ram Trucks. Want yeah, man, to buy a truck? No, man. This is Costco. I'm trying to get as many customers through the line as I can, but I appreciate it. Well, well, what about anybody in the line want to buy a truck? I'm the rambling ram. I got a ram truck here for sale. It's a, not a fucking ram. Fords are best. Well, that's just that's is rude. Rude. That, that's just rude. Yeah, so so rambling ram. So oh okay, all right. Well it's the holiday season here at Costco. Uh you got any work for a rambling ram? Uh yeah, it's actually at the exit. Okay. <laughs> what do I just kind of push them push them push the customers out? Is that what you're it, saying? Kind I, I of, yeah. Also push yourself out the oh. exit would probably be the best thing. Oh, well, I just can't be being all friendly and everything. And here you are, just you are just the rudest person I have ever met. Just Man, I'm just rudest. a cashier. I'm just trying to get through my day. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well. Oh my gosh. Is that the rambling ram? I'm the rambling ram of ram trucks. Yes, yes, here I am. How how happy holidays, lady. Oh I'm so my glad gosh. to see you. Want to buy a ram truck? Yeah, I might. I came in here for toilet paper, but I mean, <laughs> well, well, but what's going to? What are you going to take toilet paper home in? A brand new ram, I guess. There well, you, you are so All lucky right. to have okay. them in your All line. Right. Like, rambling ram. Okay, uh, I just want to go home. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I guess we all want to be remembered, don't we? But I feel like as many pyramids as I build, they'll they'll never they'll never say the name Ramses as much as I hope they do throughout the ages. Oh gee, Ramses, I don't know. I'm kind of call you Ram. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, Ram. Uh, so yeah, no, I I you know these pyramids are pretty impressive structures. I mean, I can foresee in the future where people. Well, the, the greatest minds of this planet will be wondering how the hell was it done, and they'll come to the conclusion it was space aliens. So that's pretty really? impressive. You really? You think I should? You think I should uh, leave some more instructions on exactly how and what methods we use to build them? Because I really want people to remember that. I want well, people to go uh, no. Ramses, the guy that knew everything about pyramid construction and told well, us all no. about it. Now, 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 Rammy baby, but why don't you think? I love it when you call me that, honey. Okay, Rammy baby. So <laughs> just, just think. Um, a little bit of mystery will will keep people talking about you. If you don't tell them exactly how you did it, they're gonna they're gonna spend millennia trying to figure out how, how'd you build that 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 pointy thing without any 
you know, uh, aside from the, the hundreds of thousands of people you enslaved. Right, uh, right. Yeah, they're they're, they're going to they're just going to be driving themselves crazy. People will trek from all over the world to this godforsaken desert trying to find out how you did it. So keep on the mystery, honey. You know how mystery right, works. But don't you don't you want to share, you know, with with the future generations, the secret of our rock lifting juice? I mean, that is an astounding of invention that we've had. And I would hate for the world to just think that we were, you know, pushing a bunch of rocks up ramps. Okay. Okay. No, I, I, I see your point. I see your point. So let's, let's tell them, and let's not, you know, don't, don't put it on the outside. You know, that one day they're going to have these things called billboards. So, so don't do that. So why, why don't you bury it under, under one of the, one of the, the very bottom rock. Of your Head to right. the future right. with an archeologist and assistant. So everything that we've researched has said that there should be a detailed explanation somewhere around here. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been able to find it. I've been looking for weeks and hold on. What hand me that capsule that's behind you. <laughs> this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. <laughs> Is it it? Is it it? Sir? All it is is a picture that says, ha ha, Ramsey's was here. <laughs> what? Oh, I've spent my life researching how to find this material. And it said that this was the most, he was the most thorough of all of the builders and we were certain to find it. I, I just, why? I quit my other job and school to help you find it. And now it's nothing. What? Uh, this is not, oh my goodness. I will never, I will never forget the name Ramsey. <laughs> never. <laughs> Damn you, Ramsey. Bing. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I'm thinking uh, we just, as the United States Senate, we just need to, I need to help me ram this legislation through, okay? Well, we do. Okay, basically all it just says is that I am officially a cool guy and uh, <laughs> no one is a, allowed to dispute that or characterize me as anything other than that online or anywhere else. Uh, may, may, uh, Mr. Chairman, may I interrupt the, uh, the gentleman, the gentleman from American Samoa? The gentlewoman from Puerto Rico has the floor. Hmm? You ain't cool. What? You ain't, what? Sorry, sorry, dude. You, you, you're not cool. I mean, you know, the, the, uh, you know, Samoa is a, a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful territory in the United States, but you yourself do not represent it well. What? That's, I, I, I just thought the only reason I got elected was so that I could make it so that people can't make fun of me. And uh, we, we need to push this legislation through. I also right. have an amendment in it. I'll tell I, you where you can put your amendment. That I, that I weigh 190 pounds, I can run a marathon, and I please people when I'm with them in bed. We have to get this through. Sorry, am I too late? <laughs> I had an addendum to the bill that I wanted to okay. put in there that uh, <laughs> Sue Ann, <laughs> Sue Ann Margeter from third grade Miss Hanniger's class is a big poo poo head and I know she took my erasers. Okay, okay, okay. It's in the bill. I know oh. every. I know this is a lame duck session. I know we all try to get through our little little porky products, our little porky amendments also, and everything before. I also before have an get... amendment to it. Um, I don't have herpes. That's also <laughs> going to be in the bill. Hey, um, I'm sorry, uh, but we have some legislation from the Marshall Islands. We would like to introduce a bill stating that we totally have a girlfriend and she's actually a model, but you've never met her because she lives in Canada. That, that's now in the bill. Yeah. There you go. 
We got to get right, this through. Liz, all right. Seriously, seriously, seriously. This is serious. Uh, the, 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 the gentleman from the Marshall Islands, you don't have a girlfriend because you share your apartment with 57 monitor lizards. Oh. And no kind of legislation is going to change that. I, I have an amendment. The gentle I, I, lady from Guam. I have an amendment. Um, yeah, we're from Guam. We've had a lot of people from Transylvania actually come over. And I just want to put in an amendment. We do not bite people. That is a lie. It's mm. not true. It's not true. I mean, Dracula the gentleman from the Marshall Islands here. objects. Okay, I, I have okay, one more okay, amendment. Okay. All right, fine. I just want to get the hell out of here and go to my vacation home. I've so got one more let amendment. Let me just add one amendment that says I, sure. I hate you all. Oh. oh. All right, well, fine. Fair enough. Can we at least have amendment to make us states? Yeah, I mean, that's really what I'm here for, most of all. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's try to get this other stuff through and talk about yeah, that. I'm going to have to agree <laughs> with that. <laughs> Bring back Jess as the gas station girlfriend. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in on your day off. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Of course I'd be here on my day off. I mean, I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> you know, I mean, since I took over this BP five years ago, you've been just a model employee, really. For oh the my most gosh. Part. Thank and, you. Um, Thank as you know, that COVID has really taken a toll on its business, and we've been monitoring, you know, the traffic coming through the door, and we're gonna have to close the store a little bit. What? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to close it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and <laughs> Sunday afternoons. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that's when my favorite customers come. Yeah, that's actually when you work as well. So um what I'm telling you is you're fucking fired. What? I'm your you just said I'm your best employee. For no one else part, no one else knows trucks in this area like me. <laughs> Until you started falling in love and banging every customer in the back of their truck. Oh my gosh, it was two customers. We have five come weekly. It was only two. Five come weekly. Where else? Oh my god. See. <clears throat> Cut. <laughs> uh bring back Jess. Brandon stays. <laughs> All right. Up next on cooking in your truck, we have <laughs> contested Brandon. Um, just to let you know, our guest judge and aficionado is Jess. She is really good at cooking mm. in the back of the truck. And uh, she's got her eye on this new contestant who she's definitely never met before. <laughs> Can you tell us what you're going to be making today with your chopped, uh, whoop, can't say chopped, <laughs> materials of gummy bears? <laughs> like steak and paprika <laughs> well yeah the the first thing i do is uh you know since we got flank steak that's a very tough cut of meat and you're gonna want to cook it low and slow so what i did is i put sheet metal over the bed of my truck and then i filled it with charcoal and now it's a smoker so i'm gonna put that in there and you know when gummy bears get kind of warm uh they they start to to melt all over the place. So that's going to make a nice glaze yeah. for the flank steak. And then I forget the third thing. So can you remind me? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It really looks like Jess wants to weigh in on how she's feeling about your choices. Oh my God. You mean to tell me that the gummy bears are going to be melted onto the steak? Yeah. Yeah. We, we oh, got to. My, <laughs> my daddy used to make that on the back of his truck. Oh my God! Is your is your daddy named Jeremiah? How do you know? He's my uncle. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! Oh my, oh my goodness. God! That's where I learned it from. Oh, oh, Je Daddy Jeremiah! What a character! He he, <laughs> uncle he you must have been his favorite because he doesn't tell anyone that secret. Mm, I had to, I had to wrestle him for it. Oh, I must say, this is highly unusual. The contestant has just flat out stopped computing and is now <laughs> openly flirting with the guest judge. Uh, I guess it's out of my hands. We'll see if he remembers to use that paprika or not. Say, <laughs> we'll continue uh, cooking. Well, no. yeah, yeah. 
Sorry, we uh, we only got a few hours before this starts to rip the paint off of the bed of the truck, and then that <laughs> makes everything we're cooking toxic. So I got to tend to this for a little bit. Oh, but, that's how my daddy died. He 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 ate the toxic paint. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. He uh, that was the last thing he ever told me on his deathbed was, "You you got to do this quick, or else the paint fumes are gonna get you." Um, Such a wise man. And then he warned me the paint fumes taste delicious, but do not eat them anyway. This is, as I said, highly unusual. We are not a love connection show, and yet that seems to be exactly what we are seeing here. So uh, how did you get into the food food show judging business anyway? I bet that's a fascinating story that I'd love to hear. <laughs> well, let me tell you, fucking BP fired me. I had oh, nowhere to no go. Way. I know. I, I tell you, the BP down on on uh the road, the the dirt road. Yeah, 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 the dirt road, dirt road. The one with no stop sign, not the new one, not that fancy new one with the stop I sign. Hate that oh, one. What it, what is this fucking Manhattan? <laughs> so honey, I'm I'm so glad we we decided to uh to take this trip to Yellowstone. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it for so long. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, just the wildlife is, is just, just so spectacular, you know, the bison and the, the, the moose and, the, and the, the gray wolves and, and, and my favorite, as you know, the rams. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so, uh, but we haven't seen any yet, but uh, I just, uh, I, I'm sure we will. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to grab a little bit of the a little bit of the water out of Old Faithful and oh. rub it in my hands and maybe a ram will appear. Didn't realize you could do that. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. My hands burned up. But look, look, honey. It's a ram. Oh my God, she's beautiful. It's contorting its face. It uh, mostly because uh, you summoned me here with your magic and then you're screaming at me. I'm kidding. I'm not screaming at me. I'm screaming because I'm, I burned my hands. Goddamn, y'all. Goddamn old faithful is a hot son of a bitch. But All I'm right. so glad you're here. Oh my uh, God, you look magnificent. I, I, I don't. Yeah, how are you Thank feeling you. about this, Bob? Did I hear the ram call go out? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! A pair, a mated pair. Oh, you all are so. You both are so beautiful. I think gorgeous, honey. Look at them. Do you want them closer? Yeah. Okay, I have their favorite food: mashed potatoes. Ooh. There uh, you go, you little go. Rammies. Here, here, here you go. Mashed taters. Here you go. Ow, son, you got me on my burned hand. Oh, I'm a ram. What do you expect me to do? I don't know the difference. Money, <laughs> these mashed potatoes smell funny. Did did you put arsenic in them? Arsenic. Scene. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've made it to Germany. Now we can fulfill my life's dream. Meeting all the members of my favorite band ever, Ramstein. It's, it's the most noble goal I think you've ever had. Took a long time to do this, and uh, well, yeah, for hello, some pretty embarrassing. Oh, hey, do host. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like we're we haven't we've barely left the airport, and we have already met one of them. Oh my, oh god, my god. Hello. I am. Well, yeah, I'm, it's we don't have much of a career anymore, so I'm actually just carrying bags for people now. Do host. Oh wow. Oh, thank you. I mean, should I? Should I tip Ramstein? <laughs> I mean, sure, yeah. Have a I, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God, I am I am one of your biggest American fans. Do host to you as well. <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. my favorite song, by the way. So, yeah, this is well, this is a bit anticlimactic, really. I mean, <laughs> I thought it would take a little bit longer, and I thought, you know, it would be a little bit more, you know, glitzy, but. <sighs> Well, th thank yeah. you so much. This is this is amazing. Um, I guess you could call us a cab. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. you. Have, I mean, 
Are there any other German cultural icons working at the airport here? <laughs> yeah, but not nothing that we can say on the stream. Oh. I mean, okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, um, this outlawed nowadays. Oh, okay. Be, gotcha. Being a being a band member in Germany is outlawed. Yeah, it's they're really cracking down on this kind of stuff. I've oh my god, that things have gotten bad for him. I've actually thought about walking backwards through the uh, TSA check in and getting arrested or worse. Oh my god! Oh, oh, our cab is here. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> Balloons, red ones. <laughs> oh, ninety nine of yeah, them. Ninety nine. How you? Yeah. Wow, how you fit ninety nine of them in here? That is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get it all the time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, I, I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to buy some. Yeah, this is. It's so great that we can just meet so many cultural icons that here. Unbelievable. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow. I mean, you, you guys have stop saying ninety nine at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'm really sorry that you know the the entire uh, German music industry is apparently outlawed now. But yeah. I mean, it's pretty great for people that want to do some uh, famous cultural tourism. Am I right? Yeah. I, Heidi Klum works at the uh, Dunkin' Donuts by Gate Twenty Four now. No way. Oh my God. Let's yeah. go over there. I think she was, sorry, I think she was transferred to 22, but she's still here. Definitely. Oh, okay. That's a better one. Well, do host. Adios. Great, great, great. Yeah, wow. I mean. The Berlin airport is the most greatest place on earth. Wow. True that. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm, uh, I'll, let's, uh, let's go to the Starbucks. All right. <laughs> let's see who's there. <laughs> 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 and that's our show. 